good. Sucks that that last room had the Eliminator in it. Would have loved to have gotten some more Heartless to fight, like right here. Ariel. Alright, we only missed once in this entire uh, area. Feel pretty good about that. We out, boys. Times four is decent. Gives me a good amount of SP to bet with here. Defeat three enemies at max overclock. Okay, so I only have to be at max and then defeat them. I don't have to use my finish command, I think is what this means. Which, with my max being the range strike thing, will be ridiculously easy. Oh, hello. I'm already at max, so I think I've already completed it. Yeah, I have. All right, sick. There we go. That was easy. Honestly, easiest challenge of my entire career. Dude, I love this clock ability. It's so good. Actually the greatest. All right, we're gonna wanna go right next in terms of rooms. Let's go to that one small room with an enemy in it. Kill whatever that one small enemy is. Or kill whatever enemies are in that small room. I just realized there are 10 glitched enemies to find, so. Could be a handful in there. Hello, you. Although, probably there's more in this room. And then the other room. But we'll wrap up there and then go to the last two rooms. And then hopefully the exit is down over that way. And we won't have to do much backtracking. But hey, if it is, then it is. Also, I think... I'm gonna look up exactly what I need to, if I actually do have to redo the levels, by the way, in between, uh, redo the first five layers to get to the other ones. And then I'm, oh man, I really don't want to redo those five layers, but if I have to, I guess I have to. We'll see. But, uh, after I figure that out, may or may not actually do it. I'm thinking I might do Castle Oblivion in the next session or two and, like, finish the main story and all. And then we'll we'll see about what I want to do, if anything, for a post-game. I would like to go through those extra layers. Because I do enjoy, even though I wasn't great at it, I do enjoy the uh, Olympus Coliseum combat. There you are, and there are two of you up here. There we go. Last three enemies are in the last room. Sick. Ooh, four of them. It's a good amount of prize blocks right there. Uh, why Why would you not put a stopper there to stop me from falling? What, Sora? Okay. Stop. Stop this. This auto jump is getting on my nerves again. It happens about once a video now where auto jump just does something terrible that I hate. Not once a video, once a session, really, would be a better way of saying that. That's what I meant to say. Did I hit those two prize blocks right there before? I don't think I did. No, I did. Alright, sick. Oh, hello. I didn't hit you guys. Dude, can I just stay at max forever? Is there a way to perpetually be max? Because this clock ability is actually the greatest. So many prize blocks we're gonna have to get. Ooh, level up, finally. Been looking forward to that. That definitely needs to be put on a spot where it will be doubled. Do you mind? Stop that. Just let me kill you. There we go. Another one. Unheard of. There we go. All right. You know I'm about to get every single one of these for all this SP. It's happening. Rather we like it or not. Don't talk to me. I'm pretty peeved about how that just went. Can I grab this? Nice! I would like to stay at max if I could for the next, uh... You know what? Get these first. For the next, uh, room. Alright, now. Get that. No! I was so close. Totally forgot about aerial recovery. It saved me there. All right, sick. Pretty sure we got them all. So there are three enemies in this room we gotta find and murder. Oh, it's this room. Okay. I see now. I love my max clock ability. It's so good. Oh, 
hello, large body. Oh no, I'm almost maxed out. Rip. Whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, now I've got more time and I'm back up to 15 for the combo limit. So it does depend on what level your clock max is at. I should try that Meteor Rain thing that I spent like 5k on or whatever it was. Hey! We have to go back to where we got in from. A little annoying, but I'll live. No more over here. Alright. Any here? There's a prize block, so I missed at least. There we go. Just trying to get any straggling heartless to spawn that I can kill before we go. Want to make sure we have plenty of SP when we leave this place. I think we're good. Got a message on Twitter? Oh, it's just my boy Richie responding to something I tweeted. Not important at the moment. I will probably give it a like and maybe respond depending on what he said. After I'm done recording. Let's get on out of here. We out. 5.5, like it. Use the finish command in under 50 seconds. I can do this. I only have to use a fi a single finish command, and it's the 30 enemy thing, so uh, I think I'm just gonna stick to this Keyblade. Should be manageable. I'm a little worried now, because I'm killing these guys faster than I thought, but I am already at level three. I don't think I've killed half of them yet. I have killed half of them now. It's gonna be close, but I think I'm good. This might have been a mistake. No, I'm already at max. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, we're fine. Yep, we got it. Challenge completed. He's done it. That was a little close for comfort, but it worked. We're good. Probably not my best call ever, but I'll live. And it was a fast floor, so we're already out. Should give me plenty. Oh yeah, 7.5 times. Beautiful. Half Moon Armlet. Activates the half damage ability, which halves the damage you take when you're down to 25%. I normally hate anything that requires me to be at low health, but this one actually sounds pretty good. Because that just essentially, like, lengthens my health. For the most part. Give me my experience. I gotta level up in this data hole, if I'm not mistaken. So, very good to, uh, get a nice supplement of experience. Oh man, I still have a lot to go for my next level. Okay, level up goes here, because we always double level ups. Always. Every single time. Uh, I can get over to the rest of this now, I believe, with the Cure, Aerial, and Thunder plus one I got. Boom, got that. Now we just gotta get over to this. Unfortunately, again, I was not given the option of a debug device. So, can't quite get there. But I mean, like, if I get two more pieces, more than two, and then I can't get any further that way, then I'll just start making my way to whatever this is down here. And I could always start going along this way and get to this, because that's only like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's only five panels. Six panels to get this one. Six panels if I go to this first. It would still only be five if I went to this first, but there's really no point in activating this until I can get a debug device R and a debug device yellow, because I can't get to it otherwise. But that's fine. Those are the only... Yeah, I only need three debug device R's, and then we've got them all. Assuming there are no more in the center, which there might be. I think there are just... If I remember right, I, I'm pretty sure I've only played through this game once, maybe twice. I'm pretty sure there's only uh, yellow debug things in the center, but I could be wrong. Alright. That's good, though. Good progress. Let's... Uh, I want to try Meteor Rain. See if it's any good. And then I'm going to take off Zip Watch for the Half Moon Armlet. Sounds pretty good. And when we get the new accessory thing, I'll probably put back on the Zip Armlet or we'll have gotten something better. I'm going to assume that since there are so many areas in Wonderland, there's probably another hole I can find somewhere. And I'm betting it's probably... Are you going to like... No, you're not going to make me leave. The trouble's been banished and the Queen's memories have returned. That's good. I'm betting here in the Tea Party Garden there's one more. Not in the Tea Party Garden. Okay. Still think there's one more somewhere, though. Maybe. We'll see. 
probably in the Queen's room, if anywhere. I'm so glad you're safe. Don't worry about me. Everything okay with you? Well, yeah, I pressed A twice by mistake. Well, yes, something, something. I seem to have dropped my teacup. Would you go and find it for me? I'll give this to you if you do. Do I already have that? Thank you. Oh, wait, right here. I think I already have it. I can't remember. How did it go? Did you bring me my teacup? Yes. Thank you so much. What a relief. Sick. Debug device R. Let's go. Alice. My girl. Thank you. Exactly what I needed. Not one in here either, huh? You need anything, Mr. White Rabbit? Oh, my fur and whiskers. I barely made it in time to the trial. Why couldn't I just forget the time and save myself the worrying? All right, nothing. Hey, Queenie. You need a jump rope by chance? What's this? What are you doing here? Do I know you? Uh, of course you do, your majesty. You commanded me to patrol the area. I did? Why, yes, I did. Now off with you or off with your head. Whew, nice save. Well, get moving. It's actually like the smartest thing any version of Sora has ever done. To be completely real with you. Alright, so I guess there's not... Well, I mean, like, here, this is an easy way to tell. I'm gonna leave the area. I'm gonna leave the world, and then the game will tell me if there's another one or not. In, like, yeah, stop exploring the world. Is this also gonna take me into... Yeah, it did take me into Castle Oblivion. I didn't actually want to go in there. I just want to see... Okay, there's not another one. It would tell me if there was. I'm pretty certain. Rare prize blocks? I've missed one of three. Also, I've only completed one of three quests. I'm not entirely sure what this all entails. Missing two rare prize blocks. Uh, words. Two rare prize blocks. I remember missing that one that I couldn't get to because I didn't have, like, high jump and air dash at the time. I couldn't jump to it. But I really don't want to replay episodes because that just sounds boring. Missed a lot of rare prize blocks here. System Sector Zero One, yada yada. You know what? I'm near level 40 now, aren't I? I think I'm 37, 38. I'm 36. It's gonna be a little risky, but we're gonna try and do this. Might be a complete failure, but we'll see. Pull off five successful counterattacks. I do not know what that means. What is a counterattack? I'm going to Google it. Kingdom Hearts Recoded. What is a counterattack? What is a counterattack? Oh, here we go. Very first thing that pops up. How do you counterattack? You need to equip the accessory that gives you that ability. There's one that allows counterattacking and one that allows counter command attacking. Oh, I think I have one of those. Let's find out. I sure hope I do. Because if not, then we're screwed, and I should have done 10%. Um, gear matrix? All right, well, I'll take off Adamant Belt for now, I guess. What you do powers up your block. Let you counter with the command right after you block. Perfect. So I have to use a command for the block. What do I, I have to pull off five successful counterattacks? This should be doable. All right. So I gotta, like, block. There we go. All right, that's one. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be easy, actually. Yep, I can do it with magic, too. Perfect. Blow up. Thank goodness I bet 50%, because this is the easiest thing of all time. There's another one. Ow. I was, I was having to switch to something that wasn't a cure. There we go. Only one more, and then I don't have to deal with this anymore. There's a shadow left? Oh, you're up there. Hello. Come down here and let me counter you. Oh, there we go. There we go. I need to counter you, buddy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Give me an attack. You know you wanna. There we go. Easy challenge completed. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take off this accessory for another one. Because I really don't care about countering. I almost never even defend in this game. What did I have on? Admin belt. Yeah. So they can never cut my defense, which sounds pretty nice. I don't think I've ever seen my defense be cut, but I'm pretty sure it's because I've had this accessory on for so long that any time it would have happened, I've blocked it. So I'm just going to keep it that way where I never even have to know what it's like to have your defense cut. Yeah. 
All right, well, thankfully, this was a much easier thing to accomplish than I uh, anticipated it to be. Plenty of prize blocks. Uh, we want to go this way first and knock this out, then go to the other rooms. Pretty big area. Oh, it's this room again. I couldn't tell first. We do have four floors, so it's going to be like the one at Destiny Islands. You got to make sure I don't get screwed over with the bets on some of these floors. I really hope they don't give me another 100 second one, because that's possibly like my least favorite is when I have a time limit. Because I like to take my time and murder everything plausible. Get as much as I can. Can you just hit the shadow, please? Thank you. I am at max power. My favorite amount of power to be at. Goodbye. So far, so good, boys. Stupid large body. Oh, this is a fat bandit. I couldn't tell because it was dark. Yo! Meteor Strike is sick! Did you see that? And you actually don't even have to do anything for it. He just throws the meteors like they're candy. I love that. That is so good. I think I have found... The command that I will be using for the rest of my known lifespan. Probably. Unless something even better comes along. Which is entirely plausible, knowing Kingdom Hearts. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, what do we got going on here? Hello. Please die. It's always shadows, man. Need more of a challenge. Hey, Fat Bandit, just as I was talking about needing more of a challenge. Goodbye. Still not really a challenge, it turns out. Make it up here, nice. We'll go to this center area here in a second after I clear out the edges. We could, the exit could spawn right behind that uh, line of purple blocks. It has before. You never know. There we go. I did not mean to air dash there, but it worked out, I guess. Please. Alright, I'm a little upset, both at myself and at the game, to be completely honest with you. Ow, how dare you. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. I want to get that. And uh, hit something to keep my level 3 up. If I could even get it to level max would be ideal. But uh, the next floor might be something. Oh my word, I'm getting mad. Next floor might be something. It is right there. Might be something about... Uh, I... Okay. I've also just realized we still have one more room to go to, so it actually doesn't matter anymore. But I was going to say, get to the floor, exit, keep your level 3. The next thing might be like, use finish command within 20 seconds or something stupid like that. But it's not a big deal now because we've, we've still got one more floor to go to. Or one more room to go to. So, there's definitely going to be more stuff to hit. So hopefully I can just do it in this room, actually. Get to, like, level 3 or max. And then keep it for the next floor. Be gone, shadows. Your darkness holds no power here. I have the glitched out keyblade. Can't stop me. Can't stop, won't stop me. There we go. You, there's a soldier around here somewhere. Goodbye to you. I think I might have got them all. Seems like I did. Alright, let's get out of here. So I want to have max level going into the next floor in case it is something that has to do with my, uh, oh, this is perfect. Please be something that has to do with my finish command. That would be ideal. Uh, spin less than 45 seconds in the air. What? I've never heard of this before. What do I do if there's an enemy in the air? Don't jump. I can't afford to jump. 45 seconds is a fairly long time to work with. 
I'll probably lose like oh no 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 okay the auto jump is being turned off as soon as uh all right being in the meteor did count as being in the air for a little bit there I, I need to turn off auto jump it will actually lose me this challenge like legitimately off oh. 